This is the only division that uh, deals with biological applications uh, in the graphene flagship. We are going to make sure that the graphene is not harmful to our health and environment, and uh, uh, we have to make sure that uh, uh, everything is well under control. Uh, we study the use of graphene in uh, uh, biomedical devices, which include especially uh, neural prosthesis, uh, dealing with uh, stimulation of brain. The work package dealing with sensors uh, uses graphene as a basis for uh, sensing gases or uh, bioanalytes. So, for instance, one of the main goals of this uh, work package is to, to obtain a point of care uh, diagnostics, uh, which means we want to have a device that the consumer can have at uh, their own disposal uh, in, for blood analysis, for everyday analysis, for self-curing uh, or for self-diagnosis, uh, for instance. Uh, I think that the graphene is very well suited for tissue engineering uh, problems uh, because uh, graphene is a, is a flat material and is a uh, is a conductive material. So, in principle, it can be used for uh, building up uh, uh, artificial organs, especially electrically active uh, organs like uh, uh, heart or, or parts of the nervous system. And so, it will be very interesting to see whether uh, this uh, uh, new material, in combination with other materials, can produce something which is really a breakthrough in this field.